Oh boy. <laughs> Good evening. It's Jack. I'm on my farm and <laughs> it's costing me a pile of money. You know, I don't really need this. I should trade it in. Like I really should. I need to plan this out because I don't want to keep coming back this way. I should only access there from here, not come around. And I want to lower this and flatten it out and add a little workshop here. I don't need it yet, but I'm going to need it in the future. <laughs> and I'm going to definitely need a... <sighs> a spray. Now, I... Let's start at the top. All right. Now you can notice I started at the uh, the normal, which is the farm manager. That's all gone. I had five grand at the end of the day. That's what I started with. But then I borrowed enough money to cover equipment and land. In addition, I also worked for other farmers. Oh, did I do it again? Yeah, I probably did it again. Sorry, my name is Jack. <laughs> I'm in the little village of Paloa in Poland. It's a really nice place. It's got small to large fields. Well over a hundred of them. This is the most recent one that I've purchased. However, there seems to be some sort of runoff here that's created a few dips and bumps. So, I harvested the field. I plowed it up. I got rid of all the stones. I fertilized it and limed the hell out of it. I did not lime this, unfortunately, before it was planted when I bought it. So I bought this one, I bought that one, this was 17, this one here was 20 something? Let me check just a second. 27. I borrowed the money, 27,000. <sighs> that that's why I'm up to 115,000 in debt right now. I bought this really old, old model. It looks completely refurbished. They repainted everything. But you can see this is... These are some really old, old systems. <laughs> it's got almost no horsepower. And I was able to afford a uh, very basic sickle bar mower. I've got a water tank, but... All the weight is up here. So, unfortunately, because I parked it down here, it sort of fell into a gully. I'll need to get a bigger tractor to get it out. Got the hay wagon. I've got the Massey Ferguson. A uh, little baler. It's conventional bales, about 700 liters. Not very big. But they fit perfectly on this hay wagon, so I'm fine with that. I start, had this truck when I first started. I just bought this little wooden trailer to, to move stuff. And here's the sifter for the stones. I'm not making very much money on these trees because they're so gnarly. But that's the, that's the last thing I'm probably going to do is do those trees. I don't mind taking down these birch, but they're still so small. Practically worth worthless uh, here's my grain trailer <laughs> doesn't hold very much about 3,000 my little John Deere didn't I have a Massey Fer oh the Massey Ferguson's down there I think this is my farm barn I got a 
fertilizer, or as the Pemberton's call it, a till sower. I never know why they called it that, but that's what they call it. Here is a five row weeder. My teeny tiny little, <laughs> um, uh, what is it, uh, subsoiler. I kept the, these are the bales. They can be handled by hand, so that's what I like about them. This goes to the pigsty. I should close that up. I don't have any pigs yet because I don't have enough money to get not just the pigs, but the trailer and everything. Uh, what else? Oh, there's the Massey. It's got a front weight, it's got 50 horsepower. And I'm running out of fuel because I've been using it a lot. And here is my little bobcat. Basically, the bobcat was on sale. It was like 45 to 49% off. The Massey Ferguson, I never would have bought it, but it was on sale for like 4000 I nearly lost my mind. I had to buy it right away. <laughs> That's pretty much what I've done with all the equipment that I have. Now let's just... Ch oh, I got a box. I got a box. It just... Okay. I'm gonna go... Grab this, grab the trailer. Actually, I should move these down here. I cleaned this out specially so that I could store this stuff. And there, I just ran it right up on it. Smart. There we go. So that is my grain trailer. And now I need my bobcat. So I pretty much want to turn this into my main strip, strip and either lower or lift this part up so that there is a bank here and then I can put the workshop, everything on it that I need. And the only problem that I find with this bobcat... Um, it doesn't have a large counterbalance. So even small amounts of weight will make it sort of tip a little. Alright, let's see if I've still got it. Hell no. Let's see if I can clip it here. Perfect. The zero turn radius on these things is nuts. It doesn't have a lot of uh, speed. But I really like the fact that there's not a lot of buttons. You know, there's very few functions. It's all joystick and pedal. Is that two pedals down there? I think so. Well, maybe those are buttons. There we go. And let them pack it up. $210 with $13 environmental score. So that's what they pay me while they're on my property for my strawberries. They're probably making like... I don't know how much they're making. It's disturbing. So I'm going to put the driveway down here. This is going to be cut off. It's going to be raised up and I'm going to put a workshop there. Then we're going to come down here. I'm probably going to re-slope this. And put a shed or two here. Because I'm collecting up equipment faster than I can find a place to put it. So right now, I need money. And I don't have much... 
Well, I don't have really anything on me. This is a big oak. Bam! Oh, crap. One point nine tons. Wow. All right. Um, where's my bobcat? I've got to buy a log fork. Just a second. All right. That cost me two grand. And I only made two hundred bucks <laughs> off the strawberries. Let's get this. Why the hell did that happen? Sort of sucked it right along with it. That's the problem with that. Alright, let me get in here and I'll be able to control it a little better. Yeah, right. <laughs> That's my driving ability, buddy. Or my driving disability, I should say. Alright, I've also got a bail spike down here. Yeah, this is not something I want to be doing in the dark. Couldn't see. Oops. All right, no new boxes. Still plenty of fertilizer, seeds, and water. I could use manure when I get to pig, so I won't have to worry about that. Let's see, did I get everything? like I did. No, this is going to be nuts. Oh, that's even worse. the road. <laughs> Everything's still there. That's jumping about. Fourteen hundred.
Works for me. Plus 100 or 92. Alright, there's an easy way out of this and a hard way out of this. There is a shortcut that's right directly across. Right there. Don't have to go with that awful drive. But I should have remembered that when I first took the wood down. It would have been a lot easier. So let's just take my truck. Oh, I forgot to show you. Maybe. I might have showed, I might not have showed. I gotta get some lights. No, I think I already showed there was a there was a garage up top and all right, lights out, turn off, that's off. Bobcat's off. That's off. Everything seems to be fine for the night. It's always good to have these habits to check out your your area. Ah, automatic spray. Excellent. And let's see. Follow the road so I don't trip. Now, where did I put... There it is. A little massy. Doesn't look like it's going to rain, so it shouldn't be a problem. I will, however, close the doors. <sighs> Previous owner didn't set up a, uh, a light system, so... Definitely gonna have to think about it. Haha, <laughs> I love it. So that's locked up, that's done. That's closed, closed, and closed. We're all good to go for the night. So, good night, I will see you in the morning. Hundred ninety one in loan interest and ninety six dollars property maintenance. So first thing we're gonna do <laughs> come back up here and get my uh pallet jack. So let's see. Weed is fine. Can't do anything to the pH. I need to borrow a cedar. I'll do that today. Hmm, I wonder where the proper place to keep this would be. Definitely need a shed for all my implements, though. There we go. Oh, yeah, I'm not going to use that anymore, I said. get my strawberries. 
I get half as much tomatoes, and I think even less lettuce, but I should check just to be sure. Greenhouse is in good condition. Let's see... Tomatoes, two dollars production costs, twenty-five. Lettuce, same thing, but you get eleven. Same costs. Strawberries, same cost, same cycle, same everything except you get more. But you get more because they're they take up less room. I'm going to activate that, deactivate strawberries, I wonder if I can take two pallets at once, they're stackable so I should be able to. so I don't just flip them right off. I said go carefully. them off the bottom and the top. 358 dollars, 22 and uh, environmental score reward. You know, I'd take that a lot more seriously if they they said it was good because we were using um, mechanical weeders and uh, manure instead of oh, that's what I was looking at. All right, enough birchin. I need to go get my... No, I don't own it. I need to get a cedar. I how much they are. All right, let me look at my tablet. Maybe there's something on sale. Yeah, right. Okay. I had to borrow another $5,000. Because there's no way between now and the end of the day that I'll be able to earn that money unless I go do other jobs. Which I'll probably end up doing. Alright, let's see what this looks like. Closer, a little closer, a little closer. There we go. And let's put the seed in. Alright, now I want to... Let's 
barley. Let's out. That's barley, and that's out. It's a little tapping I'm hearing. This is not quite as wide as the other one. The other one's 6 meters, this is only 4.5. 35 horsepower to pull because it's mechanical. Isn't it? Yeah, it's not PTO driven. Which is good. Because that will draw more horsepower away from momentum. It will only put a little bit of... Uh, Pressure. Alright, let's see. And I've got to make a bridge here. Let's open the menu. Lower. Turn on. Mark the end, that way I can turn around. check to see the availability. Sorghum. Sorghum's a good thing. I can use the same uh, the same harvester, the same tractors, everything. There's just no, uh, no straw at the end. that baler a little bit forward and then put the cedar behind it. Mostly out of the weather. field my next door neighbor all right so that is seeded and fertilized the weeds will probably come out tomorrow and I almost hit the the veal There's that. Twenty three of lettuce. So let's see. No weeds. 
weeds are growing, but they're not sprouted yet. Everything's good here. <coughs> Gotta catch you. Slap. <laughs> Slap the deer's ass. All right, so maybe I should check to see what I'm gonna look for for toys, just in case. Collectibles. <gasps> Collectible. Found one. Number seven. There should not be another one here. Nice gazebo. thing I can do right now is check to see if there's any uh, jobs to do. You bloody... It's a ghost deer. How come the other one had a... I could give it a good smack. Some tools. The old owner left those out. I think those are lime bags because... If they were concrete, they're ruined now. Uh, let's first let's check to see if there's anything that's went on sale. Well, every, mostly everything's sold. Yeah, I think after I have a short break this morning, because I've been working for a few hours, I am going to accept uh, one of the contracts in the fields out there maybe a harvesting job hopefully it's something with straw because you know they don't let me they don't mind me uh, harvesting that after the field's been uh, harvested so I can gather that up and use it for the pigs I think anyway I thank you very much for watching my name is Jack I'll see y'all next time and welcome to my small farm <laughs>